2, Wrestling Fandom. I'm your host, the Mass Lucha Blogger, and tonight we're going to be taking you to another backstage interview. You've seen him fight for various wrestling promotions such as Reality of Wrestling, Hurricane Pro Wrestling, and Texas All-Star Wrestling. All right, let's welcome our guest of the night, the bear from Bel Air, Ryan Davidson. Just to let y'all know it's me. I took my mask off, so <laughs> ain't no thing. You know what I mean? Hey, appreciate you having me, Doug. Yeah, thank you for being on Wrestling Fandom for this backstage interview. Cool. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, we're kind of in a parking lot, but cool. Yeah, <laughs> backstage, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Uh, my passion started as a kid for wrestling. Cool. And this led me to begin this YouTube channel. Cool. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your passion, where it began, maybe your favorite wrestler or a match? Oh, man, dude, I... I was basically back in pro wrestling, man. Like, I first started when I was, like, a kid. I didn't really know what it was. You know, I had, yep. like, WCW trading cards and whatnot. And then basically when I went, I was in junior high way back in the day. I won't give away the year. But uh, I just saw a bunch of kids on the playground doing the oh, chopping sign. That. And I was like, what's that? And they're like, oh, that's D-Generation X. And mm -hmm. I thought it was a band. Like, I didn't know. And then they're like, no, nah, it's pro wrestling. And then ever since then, I just, you know, fell in love with it ever since, man. But as far as a wrestler, man, like, Triple H made me want to be a wrestler, but I yeah. loved like Mick Foley, man, Benoit, Jericho, Malenko. Yeah. You know, I'm a big fan of like Hiroshi Tanahashi, uh, Mirafuji, you know, uh, Tatsui Fujinami, you know, Stan Hansen, a lot of those cats, big in Japanese wrestling, everything like that, you know. So, uh, yeah, man, I just, you know, like anybody else, love pro wrestling, man. Yes, sir. So, um, that passion that you had for wrestling it uh led you to train can you speak a little bit about uh where you trained at or who was your coach yeah man i broke in in the in the amarillo scene okay. so uh when i first started it was basically a local guy named uh named bj but he wrestled his blade and then there was a guy named uh private terry daniels he was like in world class championship wrestling so those are guys that was like my introduction into it and then i moved to oklahoma to where i was pretty much polished up by Mr. Ebony Tom Jones, where a lot of old school cats know about Tom Jones, and he's actually uh, one of the first African American okay. athletes, one of the first black men in, in the South to pretty much hold singles championships and everything. So, and he was a pioneer, man, and he was a guy that taught me a lot. And then from him, I went and moved back to my hometown of Houston. And of course, the rest is history. Booker T, man, I've been polished up by him since 08, man. And, you know, I can't thank that guy enough, man, and just really everybody, man. TJ and and book and everything man so that's where my training was yep um what can you tell the fans that are looking forward to maybe becoming a pro wrestler hey man you know the one if covid taught me anything life's way shorter than we think you know what i mean so if you got that itch in your heart you got that itch in your soul to just give pro wrestling a shot just do it you never know where it could lead to it might not be for you or you might be the next big thing no pun intended right mm -hmm. but uh i feel like if anybody has got pretty much uh enough courage to go ahead and do it they should man i wouldn't tell there's no reason i should be telling anybody that they can't follow their dream but to be honest with you no one gives a shit about their dream you just, so that's why you got to go and get after it man you got one life so if you want to do it do it all right so all, all that training that you learned in uh, wrestling school uh you used some of those moves here tonight can you speak about that exciting uh, three-way match you had yeah, man, that was actually my first time getting in the ring with T-Ray, man. T-Ray's a guy on Texas scene I've known for a while. I've shared a locker room with him a bunch of times, but I never actually got to wrestle him. So first time I've actually been in the ring with T-Ray, and I've been in the ring with Fuego. Of course, you can see Fuego, AEW Dark. He's good boys with Sammy Guevara and everything. And uh, it was a good match, man. I was surprised. You know, Fuego caught me with a stiff shot. My nose exploded, but I walked away with the win, man. So it was cool. But, no, it was a good match, man. I appreciate both guys, both competitors, man. And, I look forward to the next one. Yes, sir. Um, speaking about the next match, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what promotion you'll be fighting for next or who your next opponent will be? Yeah, man. So uh, right now as we record this, what is it? It's basically January 30th, the end of January. Yeah. So February 6th, I'll be in Irving, Texas for SWE Fury. Of course, I am champion for Hurricane Pro out of Beaumont and, of course, Wildcat Sports out of New Orleans. And uh, next Hurricane Pro event is uh, February 27th, but I know there's a lot of shows going on. New Texas got a show, a lot of different companies got a show, but Hurricane Pro, February 27th, Ryan Davidson versus former Ring of Honor World Television Champion Shane Taylor. So that's going to be a great match, and uh, I respect Shane a lot. So anybody out in the Beaumont area, go check out that match. It'll be fun. Yes, sir. All right, uh, where can all the fans catch you at on social media? Hell yeah, man. At RDBear57, the letter R, the letter D. 
Bear, B E A R, 5 7. Twitter, Instagram, of course, Ryan Davidson on Facebook. Uh, that's it for all the questions. But wait, there's more. Um, here on Wrestling Fandom, we'd like to end our interviews with the chop. Whoa. <laughs> All right, cool. Do you let's mind do it. giving us a chop? Cool, no problem. Oh man, we'll I appreciate it. it. All right, cool. All right, let's oh, go. See that red mark. Let's do it. We were giving out a lot of chops tonight. Yeah, a lot of Ryan chops. Ryan Davidson, tonight. here we go. All right, hold on here. Now pop, pop over this way. Oh man, here we go. All right, cool. Just right there. Make sure you get in the camera. I'm yep. gonna go right here. My name is Ryan Davidson, and this is Pro Wrestling. Here we go. Oh Woo! man, Thank you for chest. Watching. I like it. Go. Yeah. Check it out, man. Thank you guys. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, bro. Ooh, everybody loves getting chopped. Heck yeah, <laughs> man. Thank you for watching this backstage interview. Please like and subscribe on YouTube at Wrestling Fandom. Follow me on Facebook at Wrestling Fandom and on Instagram at Mass Lucha Blogger. Thank you for the continued support and please continue watching more videos. And go out and support your local wrestling promotion.